loosen the two 14 millimeter bolts that hold the caliper. Next we'll remove one bolt. Next we remove the bottom bolt. If you find it very difficult to remove the caliper, try to push the piston in a little bit in order to remove the caliper. Next we'll remove the brake caliper. Be careful and do not let the brake caliper hang on this hose. Try to use a wire to tie it to the strut over here, like so. In order to fit the new brake pads, since they're going to be thicker, we need to press this piston in. And one way to do that is to put the brake pad back in there. And then we have this brake, uh, brake pad spreader over here goes on the inside you leave one pad, the inside pad on in here, we put the spreader and then slowly rotate it like so and what's happening, this piston is getting pushed in it really helps to remove the brake cap reservoir as that allows the brake fluid to return into the reservoir to remove the rotors we need to remove this uh, brake caliper bracket and this is held in place with these two bolts right here they're uh, 17 millimeter bolts you will um, if you have a breaker bar you should uh, probably go ahead and use that because these two bolts are in there very tight Next, we need to remove these two screws right here that hold the rotor in place. In older cars the rotor might not come out so easily so what you need to do is uh, spray some maybe WD-40 or um, another penetrating oil and let it sit for about 15 or 20 minutes then you can hammer the rotor on the back and that, um, that rotor should come off. Now we're going to uh, reinstall the rotor, um, we just do everything in reverse order. Uh, make sure that the surface here on the hub is clean. Um, if it's, it's got rust on your car, just use a wire brush or maybe a, a 60 or 100 sandpaper just to remove any debris from there. We place the rotor back in. Make sure that this hole right here lines up with that.
You might want to torque these two specs. Our next step is to install the brake pads. Right here you have these shims which do come out like so. What you need to do is just remove them and clean them with a wire brush. You also want to apply a little bit of grease right there so that the new brake pads, um, so they move easily. Some new brake pads might come with the replacement pieces, so just go ahead and throw these away and install the new ones. Next thing that you need to do is um, install the brake pads. Press them down on the bottom first. On the top. Do the same thing on the outside one. And take the brake caliper. And reinstall it. Replace the 14 millimeter bolts. If you look in the description of this um, video, you um, you'll find the torque uh, requirements for these bolts. Um, right here now you don't need to bleed this brake caliper because all we did is push the brake fluid back into the reservoir so we didn't introduce any air. But if you needed to um, to bleed this car, the brake line, so basically this is where you have the, uh, the bleed screw, you'll loosen that up and uh, you can remove the air. Uh, one other important tip is to be careful with this um, shield right here, this uh, dust shield that you see right here. A lot of times um, you might accidentally bend that and get it closer to the rotor and once you um, start driving the car uh, you'll hear the, the, the metal grinding noise. That